of the questions we get from most of our customers who are just starting out is how much they should sell our tees for. The truth is, we don't have what you call a suggested retail price because there are a lot of factors involved. The fabrication, the sleeve length, the type of print, complexity of print, additional customizations like woven labels or elements of foil and embroidery, all of these things contribute to how much you should charge your customer. We know thinking about all of this can be overwhelming, so one of the first steps is to figure out which price bucket your t-shirts fall into. We're going to talk with Z, the founder of Tikta, who's going to give us some tips on pricing. Okay, so can you tell me, you know, what the four tiers are, uh, starting with the 10 to 15 price range? So these are the inexpensive shirts that you'll find at Target, Walmart, certain airport locations, right. high touristy places. Right. That's where you're going to find those shirts. Right. So these are more of like your carded open end cotton shirts. Th those are the ones that will be priced in that price range. Exactly. Now the second tier, now you're going up, at, you're notching it up a bit. Okay. So you're going now from 16 to 24. Now, taking it up a notch. You're taking up a notch, and then what we're doing is now you're in a medium, what we call medium price point. Okay. Okay. Medium price point allows you to be flexible. And again, depending on your volume, if you can go out and buy caseloads, then your supplier is going to give you a discount on prices, so it gives you the, a, a very comfortable profit margin. In TICTA, where we are, is that we're one step higher. We're from the 24 to 30. And the reason why we, dis we chose that level mm -hmm. is because at the end of the day, to us, it was really about the quality of the product. And then when you look at the Bella canvas, the, the incredible tri-blends mm -hmm. that they have, the incredible cottons, the look and feel, I mean, yeah, this is we're able to put it in the marketplace for $26.95. Wow. And for us, the review, the, um, the customer satisfaction, the repeat orders that we get is, yes, it's about TICTA, but at the end of the day, it really is about the product itself. The quality, the yeah. quality of the product. So the last price point is the 30 to 60, which is a much higher end. Our demographic, right. To go into higher end, you're limiting your amount of shirts that you can sell. Right, and you know, a lot of people might think that $30 is a lot for a shirt that you bought for $5, but um, you know, when the quality is so good, you know, it makes sense if you're in a luxury space to um, have that price range, you know, because our fabrics really do feel like something that you would find in James Purse for $60. Are there any other strategies uh, for identifying where to price your t-shirts? The best strategy is to take a look at your marketplace, to look at your competition. Yeah. Once you see where your competition is, you want to be right at that price point because that's going to establish your position in the marketplace. You don't want to undercut your, your t-shirts because your, your image is going to reflect that. Right. And people will identify you as a cheap brand. So stick to a price point and don't vary from it. Thanks so much for having us in and really just talking about everything. And I think it's great for our customers to hear your real life case study, um, you know, on how to price uh, your t-shirts. Hey, it's, it's, it's a privilege for me to be able to do this because that's part of our messaging. Part of what we want to do is we want to help as many people as we can to get into business and to empower them and inspire them. So this has been a privilege for me. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. We hope this gives you some good stuff to think about when pricing your tees. It's important to invest in quality and to understand that if you spend an extra dollar or two for a better quality blank, you'll be able to sell that tee for 10 to $15 more at retail. So by spending a little more money up front, you can increase your profit margin by two to three times. Let us know what you thought of the video in the comments below and make sure to subscribe.